Hello, um, <clears throat> we have just seen how to get to the point where we start writing literature review, but we haven't started to write literature review yet. So the exercise till now or the presentation till now was mainly on finding a suitable literature and finding those topics or those framework that we can start writing from here on. So uh, we saw four steps searching relevant uh, or existing material through books, through journals, through internet, and uh, then reviewing whatever uh, selective books, selective journal articles, and internet materials that we saw, reviewing those selected things. And from that selected thing, we saw that we were getting some kind of framework based on themes and issues. So these were, these were again, try again, sort it out based on some kind of logics. We just sort it out uh, like, an example was given on the health responsiveness where we sorted out uh, based on the fertility and mortality rates we sorted out around like nine uh, frameworks from those nine frameworks we saw that one to two frameworks were actually very relevant to our study to our uh, problem a research problem so we just chose one and that was what conceptual framework was all about so now we have got uh, literatures ready those themes ready Assuming that we have done similar things for like other like 15 to 20 literatures, similar process by selecting uh, by selecting those literatures by uh, by uh, uh, generating the theoretical framework by generating conceptual framework for all those 15 to 20. Now we have got all the themes and all the strips ready, meaning all the small small things from all these articles really but how to combine and how to make it as a good literature review how to write a literature review it's all about this uh, presentation so how to write a literature review so uh, there are two broad things that we are looking at when we are writing literature one thing from the two broad is looking uh, writing a theoretical background to the city so that specifically is some in the part of introduction, some in the part of background or problem statement, and mostly inside the literature review section itself. So we are basically giving some background information on the topic that we are writing on or the topic we are studying on. So we have got two areas where literature review really goes. What is the background of the study before the data collection or before the write-up of the findings? Second one is at the at the end or towards the end when we have all the findings and results ready, we want to compare with other literatures to see whether it's contradicting or whether it's getting similar or whether it's um, uh, adding to the existing uh, knowledge. So two ways to write. One is to give as a background and one is to add in the findings. So two... Uh, Getting the background uh, is something that we are uh, focusing right now on and we are not focusing on the second part that's uh, towards the finding. The second part usually happens when we are done with our studies and when we have got data collection, findings, everything ready, then we tell whether our finding is contradicting or similar. So that's the only time when we are writing the second part of literature review. The first is generally towards the starting or towards the uh, halfway to the research process. So we'll be dealing mostly with um, uh, the first kind of uh, theoretical background to study kind of literature review. So a general re literature review can be done in many ways, but I have come up with a five-step model where uh, we can find uh, a perfect literature review from that five-step model. And that model, I will I'll show as an example towards the end of the presentation. So this is just one slide presentation, but I'll be showing through a demo through my personal uh, literature review as uh, as an example. So if you remember clearly, we have conceptual frameworks towards the end of the first part of the literature review process towards the fourth step. And these small, small concepts from all the literatures, if you just summarize 
This summarizes all the concepts from conceptual frameworks from all the literatures and just keep it ready to be used later, later on. So these are not a strict summary. And this strip summary, if you just remember, all these articles have references already, uh, already written when you have chosen, if you just remember. But if you have not written the references, it's time you write references with this paragraph. So a paragraph and a reference. Please have paragraph and the reference. I'm saying again, a small paragraph or like summarized paragraph from that article which is really very relevant for you. Keep it as a strip. And uh, now you should be having lots of different strips. Lots of strips like you should be having like 50 kind of 50 to 60 strips now. So all the strips got from all kinds of literatures. Now these strips are getting up and down. Some are on distribution of lichens, some are on like diversity of lichens, some are on lichens diversity in agriculture, some are on lichen diversity in Indian subcontinents, some are on Hindu Kush Himalaya, some are in Nepal. So you are, you have basically no idea how to um, uh, order this one. So the second step is to now to reorder. So reorder based on any of the ways cause and effects reordering so um, some of the uh, first uh, some few first uh, strips of first few uh, paragraphs will be causes and second maybe effect and like that problem to solution so you start with your literature review with problem the strips of problems and you end up with the solution you can also have series of advances. So, uh, literature, uh, Lacken's done in 1960s, Lacken's studies done in 70s, Lacken's studies done in like um, 80s, 90s, and all. And the kind of like uh, advances in this uh, study area, you can also reflect it. Myth and reality is again one form to uh, reorder ancient to modern, effective and ineffective, chronological. You can order based on the year of publication. So the first Lycan study was done in 1905, followed by that, 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 these places. We can also do based on the, uh, the year or the chronological order. You can also do based on the uh, geographical um, uh, location. For example, you can do on the broad world, Lycan's of world, then you can slowly come to Lycan's of South Asia or South Asia Pacific region. And uh, slowly come to Southeast Asia, slowly come to Hindu Kush Himalayan region, then India, then Nepal, then Bhutan. You can come with the geographical area also. So, reordering is based on you, but follow these uh, few uh, uh, steps or ideas that I've given and try to reorder all these strips that you have uh, written. So, uh, again, going back, strips are basically formed by conceptual framework. And few summarized lines, like it can be paragraph, it can be either one to two lines. So these are also called as strips, but that should have uh, reference either stated at last of all the strips or uh, references next to the strips. So that's on you. So these strips now reorder. So after reordering these strips, some of the strips may be small, some of the strips may be very large, some of the strips, two strips may have a common idea. Those strips who, which are having common idea can be combined. Those strips which are very small but again sharing a very similar idea can be combined. So combining is the next one. So try to make around uh, five to six lines or like at the max it can go to ten lines. But five to six lines are best for readers to read it uh, quickly and efficiently. And some of the paragraphs can even have standalones, meaning you do not have to really combine uh, two to three strips to make one paragraph. It can also have one paragraph by its single idea. So combining paragraph is next one. And now after you have combined, you see that though this strip is like uh, on 1980s and this strip is on 1990s, uh, these two, two strips are not being joined or these are not being uh, perfectly uh, linked to with each other. So to link with each other, now you need to add a topic sentence or uh, you need to add a transition words. 
For example, in 1980s, lichens were found in these, that, these. Um, however, now next paragraph begins with however, it's a transition words, however, comma, in 1990, though 1980 found that one, then in 1990, the new discovery of lichen saw that these are the things that are new to the development activities. So try to add a topic sentence also. So to just to link, because it's now time to link and make it as a flow. And at last, the fifth of the five step model is try to add introduction so that you give overall idea on what literature you're going to write on. And again, try to write conclusion. In introduction part, similar towards the end of the uh, paragraph, you need to write what exactly is your thesis statement, meaning what exactly you are going to uh, talk on or what, what exactly you are going to write on. And do not write, some of the uh, people write that this objective of the study is to this, 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 uh, uh, towards the end of the introduction. That's not very uh, good. Just write indirectly in a very good words. Um, then this thesis statement can be the starting essence of the conclusion. So add conclusion and thesis statement bit, uh, before and after all these strips. So that's it. Um, five step model. It will really make uh, sense on the um, sense on how uh, uh, literary review is being done. And at last uh, bonus point is that um, do not write like four to five pages of this research review without any topics and subtitles so it's very important that you need to write uh, topics and subtitles for example um, the first first title of literature review can be main title is literature review first can be background second can be like um, if you're writing on the worldwide then uh, distribution lichen distribution of lichen worldwide then if you're coming at hindu kushima line hindu kushima line if you're coming, coming to indian plains indian plains then uh, lichens and its economic importance to human lives you can do that lichens and its important uh, uh, importance to ecological uh, activities or, or ecology you can write it as one of the uh, subtitles so adding subtitle is very must do not write a very bulk four to five pages of uh, literature review and again you must be thinking um, it's one paragraph enough for a title yes definitely if you feel that that standalone Paragraph is very very important and it has to be under subtitle that can be and uh, I suggest you to have at least two paragraphs in uh, a minimum of two paragraphs in one uh, subtitle but there's no hard and fast rule that you need to have two paragraphs but yes it looks good if you have two paragraphs in one subtitle so that's on how um, uh, uh, how uh, literature review is being written um, I'm going to show you uh, how exactly um, I have done <clears throat> literature to be based on this model. I was uh, recently working on um, uh, the drivers of native fish and uh, the drivers of native fish that I wanted to work was were on the drivers were on the, the hydropower system as one of the drivers to increase or decrease of um, uh, native fish then another driver was um, anthropogenic activity um, like uh, pollution of water <laughs> was leading to uh, increase or decrease of um, native fish and another was introduction of uh, exotic fish species which could also lead to uh, increase or decrease of the native fish and the last one was to look at the microplastic uh, content of the, uh, the fish so looking at how anthropogenic activity has actually uh, increased or decreased the microplastic content inside the fishes. So I was trying to look at those ones. So the literature that I just got uh, from the step number one to uh, find or like to uh, search for existing literature where, for example, um, anthropogenic activity, I found around 10 papers. And I said, if you remember clearly, that you need to uh, get literature with the citation. So I immediately got the citations here. I could have written directly on the word, but I did not write because I downloaded directly the EndNote uh, RIS file or EndNote file directly. So that can be my citation. 
for example this is one uh, one uh, literature uh, that is selected for reading with citation another li literature selected for reading oh this is this has no citation so it must be it was not having any kind of rs file on the internet uh, this has as uh, this has citation and this is relevant literature so 10 papers from uh, one uh, of the topics that i was going to uh, look at drivers one driver ultra project activity another was on them i looked at uh, seven most relevant or selected literature paper one was on a uh, paper of jong this is the the scholar means this is the citation um then i had uh pringles uh, this is again with citation again so um, i have seven over here then i have got uh, another drivers article selected um I'm not a no native fish i have got around uh, 12 papers so in total i have got around like 30 to 40 relevant papers which i need to read so uh, i've read all the papers and uh, i've developed uh, uh i've developed some kind of like uh, uh a theoretical framework after i've uh, reviewed uh, these selected uh, papers so so theoretical framework uh theoretical framework uh like i uh saw that uh, some papers were going to give me on dams and fishes some people were going, going to give me on spawning effect on dams then uh, basically these are the the themes and uh, themes or issues that these papers were basically trying to give me and if you uh, if you're wondering where where have i saved references i've saved these references as and when i used these papers so it's very important as when you read these papers try to keep the references immediately so that you do not forget so i had this conceptual framework from all the studies these are basically theoretical framework and segregated to have conceptual framework so full blown process was here so at last having conceptual framework from all this like 30 to 40 literatures um i now uh, have all these strips small 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 strips this is one strip this is another strip strip meaning this paper gave Zhang and power paper gave me this uh, paragraph uh paper of this z baron uh, uh, at all give me this um strip paper of uh, this freeman gave me this strip so i was getting all the strips from different kinds of papers and uh, all the references are being listed here so now i was going to write the literature review so first one the topic is understanding the drivers of native fishes in bhutan response to anthropogenic activities non-native fishes and microplastic contents so uh the strip summary with citation so i've got strips here these are all colorful so all strips and uh, I have index citations. For example, this is one index citation. This is another index citation here with the references ready. So that's the first step you want to do. Now, and, and again, I have, uh, before uh, reordering, it was all up and down. Dams were, dams and fishes strips were down beneath. And uh, uh, this was uh, in the middle. This was somewhere again in the middle. So I had to reorder because these these all were basically giving me similar ideas. So I had to reorder. I'm not combining right now. The third process is combining, but these are basically reordering. So I was uh, reordering based on the similarities. So I was reordering this one. So these four strips are basically having a similar idea. So I had to reorder them under dams and fishes. And these two strips are basically giving some idea on spawning of fish. And I have reordered again together. And this strip, again, a standalone strip. So these kind of different many strips were lying. So I had, I had to reorder based on the, the similarities and based on the topics. Now, the third process is combining. So, so the first, some of the strips that were small but had similar ideas were combined together to make a full blown paragraph so i just combined based on their similarities based on their um uh, based on their similarities and based on 
the ideas that they were trying to speak. Some of the uh, paragraphs were left alone uh, without any combination. Like I said, it has to be left alone if you feel that it has to stand alone. And these are all combinations. Now I combined. That's the third step. Now I'm left with fourth and fifth step. That's the fourth step is on adding topic sentence and transition. So this was like this is like a raw combined strip without any uh, topic sentence and uh, transition words. So it's very raw if you just do not add transition words and uh, strips. So just add it transition words like there are several ways dams can impact the aquatic ecosystem. So I'm just going to now uh, going to explain those several ways in this paragraph. And I've added this topic sentence, the physical obstruction of dams impedes and delays both migration and spawning. So these are a few topic sentences I could add so that I could um, uh, join this paragraph with the next paragraph and I could uh, slightly introduce what this next paragraph was trying to say. And the next one, a topic sentence that I included was hydropower dams. These are the topic sentence. Next topic sentence here. So this was basically talking about hydropower dams, but this was talking about uh, uh, yes, these were basically talking. This was talking about hydropower dams in the world around. This is talking about anthropogenic. So I was trying to relate hydropower, hydropower dams with again growth of the population and trying to slightly bring from hydropower to anthropogenic so that I now continue with the anthropogenic activities. Now, uh, this is all about uh, heavy metals. So I was trying to say that besides hydropower dams and artificial sounds, one of the major resultants anthropogenic activities envisaged is the accumulation of heavy metals in fresh water. So these are some topic sentences that I could uh, come up with. Then next topic sentence, I added this one again to combine. This is the topic sentence I added. This is the topic sentence for this paragraph. And at last, yes, I could add all the topic sentences to basically um, join all the paragraphs. And uh, the last part of the five-step model is to add introduction and conclusion. So uh, this is the introduction paragraph that I added. And you can see that um, somewhere here, somewhere here, there should be my thesis statement uh, talking mainly on what I'm going to really talk on the this uh, uh, literature review so i added introduction there in one paragraph then i added conclusion here so five step model bingo and i added conclusion so um conclusion can uh, one tricks to start conclusion is to start with the this statement that you already had in your introduction and last the bonus point adding a title and subtitle so please add title and subtitle because four to five pages of literature review without subtitle is like a plain movie like uh, watching a plain movie no fighting no actions no uh, romance so it's just a plain so uh, try to add some titles subtitles so that you exactly know what you are going to talk uh, through those titles so I add a title like this is background had a power fish and dams and effects this is, is the title that I added again. This is the title I added again. Microplastics contains and all. Conclusion title. So that's it. Bingo on how to write a literature, literature um, review. Now you have one assignment to be done. Um, you already have um, your research problem ready, meaning your topic and your objectives ready. Now I want you to um, do a literature review so that we... Uh, lessen the burden at the nick of the time or at the last moment on our uh, research proposal so a research proposal should should be consist of topic research uh, 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 research problem or research problem or the background and um, um, uh, objectives research questions that followed up with um, a literature review so Literature followed up with data collection and rest of the methods. So, data, uh, li literature review is main thing that you need to need you need to include in the proposal. So, if you can do it within these few days, you are basically lessening the burden that you have to do towards the end of the semester, as well as that you have to do during your thesis or dissertation time. So, please do literature review. 
uh, of the topic that you have chosen, that topic that you have given to me. And uh, at least review, I would suggest you to review at least 20 papers, 20 papers. Uh, that should be in my, uh, Microsoft Word, Times New Roman, font size 12, 1.5 spacing, page number centered. And um, yep, uh, please submit in the student ID, uh, literature review as the name. And um, 30th April is uh, the due date. So please do that. If you have any doubt, please let me know. And you need to submit in the VLE for this one. Thank you so much.